Hello everyone, this is Damien, another episode of Intermediate Java. So today we're going to be setting up a JBoss server to run locally inside of Eclipse. This is probably going to be our last sort of a uh, beginner friendly lesson. Uh, before we start that, we're going to go to Window, Show View, and we're going to show Console, and we're going to show Servers. So when we show Servers, you can click right here on the New Server Wizard. Alternatively, you can go to File, Other, then you can go down to Server, double-click Server. Now, you'll notice that in my case, I have a folder that says JBoss Community. Uh, assuming you're going with a fresh install, you won't have that there. So to get that, you're going to go in here to download additional server adapters. You're going to wait for that to load. And in here, there will be one called JBoss AS something. Uh, it should be right above um, Jetty generic server adapter. So you'll download that. And when you come back in here, it's going to give you this JBoss community selection thing here. You're going to select JBoss AS 7.1 going to click next. It's going to give you uh, a quick bunch of stuff there and that's actually not quite how it happens your first time through. You'll come to a point where it will stop you and you'll uh, you'll have to click another bluish link like we did to download the JBoss AS stuff. Uh, it'll say download JBoss runtime or something along those lines. Um, I actually just did it and then realized I should probably make a video of it. So, sorry about that. Um, we're going to make a new project. Uh, so let's go up to New, Other, and we're going to go down from Server to Web, and we're going to make a dynamic web project. And we'll just call this Hello World. Um, let's do Dash. I like my stuff to be named singularly. So when we make this, you'll notice that it gave us Java resources as well as web content. So, and web content has its own set of libs under it, as does Java resources. So this is going to start kind of blurring the lines of where we have uh, Java ending and web resources beginning. Uh, JSP is essentially made so we can start putting uh, our Java online a bit easier. So we can sort of start using it more like it's PHP. Um, JSP hasn't quite caught on the same way PHP has, but it is used pretty widely. Um, so let's go to make a new, and I have JSP file right there, but I won't cheat. So underneath web, we can go to JSP file. There is a thing called the JSP tag. We'll be getting into that uh, quite a bit later. I'm just showing you guys this right now because, well, we've already made a server. I might as well show you how to toss a file on it. So just click web content. We don't want it to go into meta inf or web.inf. You're going to hit next. New JSP file, xhtml. You don't really need XML syntax or anything. And hit finish. And you should end up with something like this on your screen. So, as for title, we're just going to change that to Hello World. Then we're going to come down into the body, give ourselves a little bit of space. And so there's two basic types of tags in JSP. There's this type where we have a, a single sort of uh, parenthesis. And then there's one where you put an equal there. Uh, the equals are just expressions. They don't do anything except sort of the the way i think about it is if you're just if all you're going to do is set one thing equal to another then an expression's fine but if you want to execute a whole block of code and maybe change a lot of things and output some stuff then you're really going to want to use just the ones with the parentheses um, in my own personal adventures i tend to use these quite a bit more so let's declare a string and call it hello and we'll set that equal to hello world now down in the actual HTML we'll say I came here to say ah sorry new keyboard I just 
got a new laptop the other day and I'm still sort of struggling to get used to it. So we'll toss that there and we'll do out.println. You'll notice that we've excluded the system and we'll type in hello. We'll give that a run. It's going to ask us to save changes. Then it's going to ask us which server we want to run it on. I'm guessing you guys can assume which server I'm going to run it on. It's going to show that we have a uh, WAR file uh, that has been configured to run on this server. Again, we hit finish. A lot of stuff is going to start happening in uh, the console here. So you'll notice a lot of text scrolling by about uh, the JBoss server sort of loading up and getting ready and deploying our WAR file and all that stuff. The reason we went with JBoss is because it handles all this automatically. Uh, getting Apache Tomcat to do this in Eclipse is quite a bit harder. So we come up here and you'll notice that it has generated a web page for us and it has automatically worked. Uh, deploying this to an actual web page is fairly straightforward as well as long as you're running a JBoss server or a Tomcat server. Uh, actually deploying a WAR file to a Tomcat server is very simple, but testing it locally inside of Eclipse is very hard. Uh, so you're going to go to export and then WAR file. And I've never actually exported a WAR file on here, so you basically just go here. Um, I'm, I don't mean to say I've never exported a WAR file in Eclipse, just never on this uh, version that I'm running locally because I just installed this fresh install due to getting a new computer. So I'm just going to Eclipse Projects, Hello World, and I just like doing it in the root directory. Uh, so we'll save it right there. And then this is very much like a jar in a sense where it sort of just has a bunch of uh, stuff in it. And I didn't hit finish. So again, we can go in there, Hello World, and there's our WAR file. And that took us I don't know, about all of uh, two minutes. So, yep, that is essentially all you need to do. I am not going to go and dig through the WAR file and set up, you know, default MIME types and stuff. But with that being said, I think that that should get us through this video. Very simple, just another hello world. Um, at this point, next video, we're going to start getting into more exciting stuff. Everything up until now has just sort of been setting up our environment. We're going to start cranking next video. Thanks for watching.